The member for Yanguru Sausia and former planning minister Richard Maro asked frankly, directing his question without notice to SOE minister regarding the selling of SOEs and whether the government was financially in trouble or the sale was for acquittal raising. Given this background, I'd like to ask the minister for state enterprises, one, if the government, the, the Marabe government has made a policy decision to start selling down SOEs. Question number two. What do you define as non-core and what do you define as core assets? Question number three, is there any truth that you will sell telecom, the, tele the, the telecom group? Question number four, are you going to, what process will you follow and is it the aim to sell it to Papua New Guinea investors like our super funds or is it aim to go to the global market? Question number five, are you doing a fire sale to rescue these uh, SOVs because they're in serious financial trouble? Or are you looking at equity raising for re reinvestment in those assets? State-owned enterprise minister in responding to the member stated that there is no policy decision made, but the government is looking at SOE reforms. The government did not make it as a policy but we are bringing SOE reform and we have negotiated as a SOE reform policy-based loan, which ADB has approved about $500 million, purely based on the reforms which we bring into SOEs in terms of uh, bringing reforms such as like making merit-based appointments and also doing, bringing some governance and accountability within all SOE boards stating that they will be assessing SOEs not performing and that the first opportunity will be given to super funds to buy off, invest and generate revenue. We are not intent to do any fire sales, uh, Mr. Speaker. And uh, to clarify non-core and core assets in terms of uh, telecommunication business, of course, there are some telecommunication or mobile communication as our core business, but operating like uh, radio stations and MTV, these are non-core assets. So we classify those ones as non-core assets. And, these are, and also we are assessing the value of all these businesses which are actually providing positive cash flow which are not uh, performing well. And we want to uh, do follow a process uh, transparently and making the opportunity available for our super funds, for our mothers and fathers. If we do sell, they have the first opportunity to get equity in those businesses or to buy those businesses. The minister additionally stating that there is also no truth to the selling of telecom. However, the government is facing a vast amount of challenges which have become stagnant with specific SOEs. Uh, Mr. Speaker, right now there is no such truth in selling the entire telecom group. It's too much to actually, we have uh, billions of, billions of uh, kinas worth of loan actually uh, borrowed just only in the name of uh, telecommunication business, uh, Mr. Speaker. The minister's response and an additional supplementary question from Governor for Western Highlands regarding the government's position with the SOE sales. Ask the minister, what is the government's position when the government is looking at private enterprise and the businesses that the government is owning? What is the government's position? Is the government is going to be a 100% owner of these businesses like what we're doing? Or is uh, the government going to have a position where it become a passive investor taking 25% or 30%? Minister Sassindran clarifying that the government is looking at engaging more into semi-privatization, more to do with the fixing of accounts and bringing credibility before selling SOEs off. The government position is to engage into semi-privatization and give and follow the BSP model. In fact, uh, Mr. Speaker, IPBC or KCH has been developed mainly to keep us a warehouse to bring all these SOEs, yeah. fix their books, fix their accounts, and then to come to this stage. Uh, Governor, I can assure you the government position is to ensure we bring some credibilities into these businesses. Of course, some of these businesses also involves in terms of services not uh, for us not to give entirely into private hands in terms of like whether it's, uh, uh, you know, extending power services or doing, you know, rural water supply and all those things, it still remain as a government's priority and also uh, as a service to our people. And at Cora, National MTV News.